Stafford, it's 13 games unbeaten now, four wins on the bounce as well, and a great result on Friday night against Motherwell to get us into the quarterfinals of the cup. You know, the, the club and the boys are in a really great place right now. Yeah, they certainly are, you know. Um, wins breed confidence, and we're certainly in um, a great run of form at the moment. But um, a tough game tomorrow away to Queen's Park. You know, we've, we've played them twice this season and, and picked up four points, albeit the last game we were down to 10 men for 50 minutes, but I thought in the game the boys defended really, really well. Yeah, and you mentioned last time out against Queen's Park anyway, that 1-0 win, but it was a game where you know you, you always get the most from the boys, but even more that game. Yeah, there was a lot of controversy in the game as well. Um, my own opinion, I don't think it was sending off in George. Um, I certainly don't think it was a penalty either to Queen's Park, albeit Ryan saved it, it, it kept his 1-0 um, ahead. Um, but I thought the, the performance of the boys, especially second half, Queen's Park puts under a lot of pressure, I thought they defended their box very, very well. And over recent games as well, one of the key factors to the results has been the Queen Sheets and keeping a strong defence. It maybe wasn't the Queen Sheet you're looking for on Friday, but you know, still defensively been solid. Yeah, I thought on the Friday night we were superb, you know, we, we never gave Motherwell a minute. Um, we were in their faces, um, I thought at times we played really well, other times we had to defend really well. Um, I think for the 83 minutes we were, were well in control, Motherwell get their goal, we put us under a bit of pressure. But I thought the boys stood up to that challenge very well against a very good um, Premier League team. And going up to Hamden on Saturday, it's obviously a, a big pitch, a lot bigger compared to here at Capo. You know, does that change the way that you approach the game? No, I just keep it the same. You know, we don't always play at Capo. You know, we've got away games that are we play big pitches, so we have to we have to take whatever comes. You know, Queens Park will be well set up. I think they're in a good vein of form. You know, they've, they've won four of the last five games. Um, Calum and Liam have come in and done a, a very good job for them. Um, but again, it's about us. It's not about Queens Park. You know, we'll give them the respect that we give our, every team. But certainly for us, it's it's just an our game. We have to go there with the same mentality we've shown the last um, two or three months, and and what we will be. And whilst the win against Motherwell was obviously massive, the last time out in the league it was that 5-0 win away to Dunfermline, a great win on the road and you'll be hoping to maybe replicate it and, and try, try and get a good result on the road again? Yeah, listen, you always want to go away from home and, and, and pick up a valuable win, um, but certainly tomorrow, um, just the performance is the most important thing, yeah, if we can score goals, fantastic, but again, Queen's Park are in a good vein of form, the game won't be, be easy, you know, we have to go there and, and really get at them. They'll, um, like I say, be in a good vein of form. They've picked up a lot of points in the last four or five games. But it's about us. You know, I always say the same thing. We give the, the opposition respect that they're due. But I'm, I'm not too worried about Queen's Park. I'm more worried about us. You know, we've had a tough game on Friday night against a, a top team. Um, the emotions were, were sky high. And it's about trying to build them up again. You know, I've, all, I've been there as a player. It's tough. You go away and you have a good performance against a big team. Um, and then it's coming back off of that high that you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot and it's about trying to keep that mentality focus um, 100% getting into the game and, and hopefully we can come away with a positive result. And in terms of the backing that the team's had as well, we saw it with the, the home crowd last week, you'd be hoping just a short trip up to Glasgow that there's going to be a good away crowd up there on Saturday? Yeah, listen, I, I take my hat off to the supporters here, I think. I've always said that for day one I've come through the door that they've, they've always been there in the numbers. Um, I hope tomorrow that they come again. Uh, get right behind the team and, and and be the 12th man. You know they've been superb. Um, the back has been fantastic, and and it's it's nights like Friday that we love to give back to them. And, and like I say, hopefully again they come in our numbers and get right behind the team. And I think you mentioned after the Friday game, it's it's always good to have maybe a, a day or two extra to recover going into the weekend. You know how has this week been in terms of recovery and how we're looking in terms of team selection? Yeah, it was good. You know, obviously the game being on Friday night gives us that extra day Saturday to to recover. Um, the boys have been brilliant, training's been very high standard this week um, but I think they're just in a, a really good place at the moment Gareth, you know, they, they should be as well it's just for us now as a staff to try and keep ticking them over um, keep ticking game by game and see where it takes us but it's certainly at the moment we're in a very good place um, squad wise, nothing really to, 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 to change you know, Kirk and, and, and um, Jai are back in the squad there's no change for that Boyd and, and Jamie McDonald hopefully aren't too far away and that'll give us our full we're full quota bodies, but certainly the, the boys are in a great, a great place at the moment and just delighted to have the full squad um, available.